Hi guys. So today I want to address a subject that's brought to me often, the intake of sugar and how do we stop it? How do we eliminate it? How do we bring it down? And you know, there is no quick short answer to this. I, I wish I could give an Instagram answer to everything asked me, but sugar, it, it's such a lifelong commitment to turning it around. You see, we're kind of started at birth. You know, if you're not breastfed, some of the formulas and potions you're given at birth have a lot of sugar in it, right? And then you move on to being a child and a toddler. What do your parents do? What do people do when you're a little off-centered or annoying or whatever? They shove sugar in your mouth. So we're gaining this, this emotional pleasure from a substance that's put in so many forms and constantly pushed into us. And our cells have memory. Our cells are taking all this in and saying, okay, so I feel better for a moment. I have a little bit of limited energy. Let me repeat it. And so starts the whole addiction to sugar throughout our lives. And it doesn't stop there because when you get older and you go out, you, you socialize by having sugar, by having drinks, by having desserts, by going out to eat. And there's so many foods that convert to sugar. And how about most of your offices? You walk by desk and you know people have candy out on the desk or donuts. Everybody's so happy that you brought donuts to the office. But we're taking in so much sugar and it is the basis for so many of the challenges that we're suffering in today's modern age. I mean, diabetes is a, is a new disease, right, created through our lifestyle, the way we change our lifestyle. So when asked, how do you stop it? There is no quick answer to that. There's all kinds of supplements that we can recommend. I'll do a quick commercial here. I have a 10-day sugar break that I think works wonderfully, and it's been reported by my clients that they're doing great with it. But you see, even that one 10-day sugar break isn't enough. I mean, I continually do my breaks a couple of times a year just to remind my body even and I'm not even eating sugar guys right um, but I can go to too much fruit and this is where I get into trouble with people because they go fruit fruit it's so good for you I want my fruit and I want you to have your fruit it's one of the most perfect foods on the planet for humans okay but the fruit today is not like the fruit that was created when man was created you're getting way too much sugar you're getting it all day every day if you choose, you don't have to climb up a tree anymore to get it. You just drive to the supermarket or maybe you just have it thrown in your Instacart. I don't know. But we're, we're not living lifestyles to be able to handle this kind of sugar intake that we're taking. So when I recommend a sugar break, I'm talking across the board. But if you're new to this, then you start with maybe I'm just going to give up white sugar and see where it goes. Uh, maybe I'm just going to give up white sugar and honey and see where that goes. And then you throw in maple syrup. And, you know, there are some sweeteners that are legal. We use them in our desserts, like monk fruit, stevia. But all the other sweeteners are really just putting your body in such a, a strong, stronghold of of uncomfortability even though you don't realize it, the rush you get from it. So what do I say? I say there are a lot of supplements that you can start to take, which I have included in my sugar break. Fenugreek sea capsules are wonderful for balancing blood sugar levels. You don't want to do it forever. Um, uh, MSM, there's so many things on the market, but I think more importantly than what you take, I think it's concentrating on changing your behavior and finding new habits. So what's one of the first things I do? You know, go to all the sugar in your refrigerator or your pantry and see where you're getting it and where you can change it. Because sometimes it's easier to change a habit for something else rather than just cut off all the way. So maybe if you're eating donuts with sugar, then you go to donuts with honey. And maybe if you're eating donuts with honey, then you go to just fruit during those circumstances. But find little bridges for yourself. And I think you have to kind of stay vigilant about it because it is in everything. Now, once you've been vegan for years and years and years and cleansing and detoxing, it probably won't be as difficult, but I still say you still need to take a break. I take a break from all sugars at least twice a year. I go on, I do my own sugar break. And I have to tell you, when I went from being a, a carnivore to a vegetarian, wow, vegetarian to vegan, wow, vegan to uh, raw plant-based vegan, oh my God, and then no sugar, no fruit, no nothing. I thought I could walk on water. <laughs> anyway, you know, I don't want you to give up anything forever until your body is ready and your brain and your condition because everyday peace is more important, but if you're eating a lot of sugar and it's not bringing you peace, then it's time to change the behavior. And how do you change the behavior? You set the intention first, 
I would even write down where I want to go. I think it's so important. Well, I'm not going to have any sugar for one week or two weeks or one month. You know, find a goal that works for you. You're not in competition with anybody else, with me or anybody else. You're finding your own best path. So set an intention. Uh, and even if you're going to do my sugar break, I wouldn't order it and say I'm going to do it tomorrow. I would say, you know what, this is um, January. March 1st or February 1st, I'm going to detox from sugar. And then your brain is set up and you start to set up your home and your life. And, you know, is it 100%? I don't know. Some people get it right away. I'm still working on it. Okay. Anyway, of course, I'm 75 years old. I've had a lot more time uh, to go back and forth than a lot of you. But um, anyway, I hope this helps. And please keep your questions coming. I love your DM. It's just most of my answers are not an Instagram answer that could be done so quickly. And uh, I love being able to help wherever I can. So remember, if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live? Bye.